As we told you at the top of this newscast, Governor Doug Ducey calling up the National Guard tonight to help battle what you've been seeing on social media for days now. Empty store shelves. He wants those soldiers to help with logistics and the supply chain. Meanwhile, those grocery store employees have been working nonstop since this pandemic has started. Tonight, they're talking with our Brianna Whitney about how long they expect things to stay like this. Non-perishables, gone. Canned goods, completely empty. A limit on two paper goods, but none left here at all. And no eggs. It has been a wild week for grocery store employees, and now they're sharing exactly what's been going on behind the scenes. I really don't get tired, but I'm like, I, I'm tired from working so much. And who can blame him? Levon Motes works at Safeway in Tempe. Thursday, he got off at 2 p.m. Friday, he's going in at 3 a.m. We're doing everything we can, 15 hour days, just trying to help people. But he says despite the extra work, their stock is just flying off the shelves. I don't think you can get toilet paper, paper towels, sanitizer. And Bill Pollock from North Phoenix is seeing the other side of that for the same company. Right now we're scheduled six days a week. Uh, 14 to 16 hours a day is what we're, we're doing right now as drivers. He drives for Safeway and Albertsons on his way to Tucson Thursday from New Mexico. We've gone from probably putting out about 160,000 cases a day to about 350,000 cases a day. As as we take it in, the customers come in and take it right back out. So it's just a vicious cycle. He says even once things die down, he expects around six more months of rigorous schedules for drivers to get stores all properly restocked. And even through the long hours and chaotic lines, they're still just happy to serve you. As a company as a whole, we're doing everything we can to keep our customers satisfied. Reporting in a very thankful community for them tonight. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's family. That is for sure, Brianna. Thank you. And while a lot of places are closed right now, some of them are actually hiring grocery stores, medical supply stores having trouble staying stocked and they need people to help fill their shelves as more products come in. We're going to tell you about more businesses which are hiring throughout the night, and you can also get a full list on azfamily.com.